Well, hello there. This one's gonna be short. Uh, it's just a little bit of an announcement on this series. Uh, you're gonna get uh, at least uh, two months of content out of this series, which means uh, two or three more episodes. Uh, why? Because uh, my CPU is up is a stable up to four point. 2 gigahertz that's as as high as I've been able to go without it overheating immediately and well I just cannot reach that uh, that high of a clock speed without water cooling the thing uh, why because it just overheats uh, my case is really uh, it's uh, it's really shallow, so no. Actually, what's the term? Huh, it's really thin. Actually, my case isn't really that thick, so uh, something like a Hyper Two Twelve Evo doesn't fit, and I doubt uh, even a Hyper Two Twelve Evo uh, would be able to dissipate that much heat. So uh, I'm gonna build a loop, a CPU only loop. Um, with a thick uh, 120 mil radiator in the front of my computer, uh, a reservoir in the five and a quarter inch uh, bay, in a five and a quarter inch bay, and uh, just a pump and a water block on the CPU. And for the water block on the CPU, uh, I went this morning to the to my friend's uh, computer store and I asked him, uh, well, do you have uh, any leftover parts for, for, from uh, when you were into water cooling? Because he was, uh, uh, some years ago, he was way into water cooling. And he told me about, well, he had radiators, he had... Uh, all he had were 240s and 360s, so no use to me. Uh, he had pumps, as he told me. Uh, he had uh, water blocks for Radeon 5870s. I'm not looking to water cool my 5870, though, so yeah. And he also had this. Yeah, an EK Supreme HF. It is the copper plexi version. And well, uh, I was already prepared because I think I knew he had something along the lines of this. So uh, I, w I went prepared to the store and I, I was carrying uh, an Athlon X4 860K that I had been using in my uh in my computer for a while in my old gaming computer which that cpu let's face it it is a piece of crap it is a piece of crap i mean for gaming on a budget it is great it performs great for gaming on a budget but it overclocks like shit i mean it has a 4 gigahertz well it is a 3.7 gigahertz uh base 4 gigahertz turbo um CPU, mine didn't get past 4.1 gigahertz overclocking, and that's with 1.42 volts. I mean, that was crap for overclocking. This is on an A88X uh, motherboard, so that's the extreme gaming uh, chipset. Uh, and it scored like 400 on Cinebench, so my Xeon right now kicks the living crap out of that CPU. So yeah, I got this thing in exchange for the exist for the 860K. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at it while we're here. A quick look. I'm not gonna get into the mounting hardware or anything like that, just gonna show you the wire block because I don't wanna do two takes or anything. 
So as you can see, it is brand. It is actually brand new. It has never been used. So here we go. Supreme HF. You can see the micro channels right there. There's 50 fins right there. Not 50 mongols, but 50 fins. And yeah. Rubber seal around it. All of this. Yeah, there's not much to say. Uh, these are G1 quarter inch uh, barb mounts. And yeah, that's about it for the water block. I'll be mounting it on my 775 break. And yeah. Cool. So, yeah, I'll be mounting it on that. And well, bye. You know, comment, like subscribe, whatever, and bye.